Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Real Numbers. Here is the annual academic calendar for the academic year 2020 and 21, and this is first week, fifth video. In this video, we will learn the questions and solutions from exercise 1.3. Here is the chapter Real Numbers. Here is the exercise 1.3. Question number one. Write the following rational numbers in decimal form and also state which are terminating and which are non terminating repeating decimals. Mm -hmm. I shall repeat. Write the following rational numbers in decimal form and also state which are terminating and which are non terminating repeating decimals. The first bit 3 by 8 and the second bit 229 by 400. 3rd bit 4 1 by 5, 4th bit 2 divided by 11 and 5th bit 8 by 125. Here is the solution for the first bit. 3 divided by 8. You cannot divide 3 with 8 therefore keep 0 point and it will be 30 now. In 38 3 times 3 8 is 24 the remainder is 6. You keep 0 beside 6 so that it is 60. In 68, 7 times, 7, 8 is 56. Now 40. In 45 times, 8, 5 is 40. And the remainder is 0. Therefore, 3 by 8, the coefficient is 0 0.375. Okay? If we divide 3 with 8, we got 0 0.375. We know that 0 0.375 is a terminating decimal. Now look at the second bit. Look at the second bit. 229 divided by 400. You cannot divide 229 with 400. Therefore keep 0 point. Then it will be 2290. 400 5 times. 5 400 is 2000. If you subtract you will get 290. You write 0 beside 290. It is 2900. Now in 2900 4 7 times. 7 4 2800. If you subtract, you will get 100 and keep 0 so that it will be 1000. In 1000, 400, 2 times. 2 400s is 800 so that you will get 200 now. You will get 200, keep 0, it is 2000. 400 and 2000 5 times. 5 400s is 2000, the remainder is 0. Therefore, 229 divided by 400 is 0 0.5725. It is also a terminating decimal. Now, look at the third bit. We have given a mixed fraction. Let us convert it into improper fraction. 4, 5 is 20 plus 1 is 21 by 5. Now, divide 21 with 5. 5 in 21, 4 times. 4, 5 is 20. If you subtract, 1 is the remainder. Key point so that it is 10. Now 5 in 10 2 times. 2 5 is 10. The remainder is 0. Therefore 4 1 by 5 is 4.2. Again it is a terminating decimal. Now look at fourth bit now. 2 divided by 11. Take 2. And let us divide this 2 with 11. As you cannot divide. Keep 0 point. It is 20. In 20, 11, 1 time, 1 into 11 is 11. If you subtract 11 from 20, you will get 9 remainder. Now, keep 0, 90. In 90, 11, 8 times, 88. And again, you will get 20. 1 time, 11. If you subtract, you will get 9, 90. In 90, 11, 8 times, again, you will get 2 like this. Therefore, 2 by 11 is equal to 0 0.181818 and so on. It is non-terminating. It did not get remainder. Therefore, 2 by 11 is non-terminating decimal. And at the same time, if you look at this decimal part, 1818, this 18 is repeating. Therefore, it is a recurring decimal also. 2 by 11 is non-terminating and recurring decimal. Next is question number 2. Here is the second question. 
without performing division state whether the following rational numbers are terminating or non terminating and recurring decimals i shall read again without performing division state whether the following rational numbers are terminating or non terminating and recurring decimals the first bit is 13 by 3125 second bit 11 by 12 sixth bit 23 by 2 cube into 5 square seventh bit 129 by 2 square into 5 power 7 into 7 cube and tenth bit 77 by 210 here is the first bit now before solving this we should know that if the denominator of a fraction is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m where of course n and m are non negative integers then the fraction is a terminating decimal otherwise it is non terminating recurring decimal i shall repeat if the denominator of any fraction is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m where n and m are non negative integers then the fraction is a terminating decimal if the denominator is not in the form of 2 power n 5 power m then the fraction is a terminating recurring decimal now let us see the first bit now the first bit is 13 divided by 2125 now take the denominator 3125 now let us write this 3125 into prime factors 3125 what is the units digit units digit is 5 therefore it is not divisible by 2 is it divisible by 3 you verify 4 plus 2 6 plus 5 11 not divisible by 3 but as the units digit is 5 it is divisible by 5 therefore it is 5 into in 31 5 6 times in 12 2 times And in twenty-five, five times. Therefore, you can write three thousand one twenty-five as five into six twenty-five. Now again, this six twenty-five can be written as five into one twenty-five. This one twenty-five you can write it as five into twenty-five. This twenty-five as five into five. Therefore, in total, three thousand one hundred and twenty-five can be written as five power five, which is in the form of two power n into five power m. You may have doubt that where is two power n. You may you may be confused that whether two is there or not. Here, even though two is not a factor of this, here if you look at this statement, two power n and five power m, where n and m are non-negative integers, means they may be zero also. Therefore, this is two power zero into five power five. The numerator is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. Since it is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m, the given fraction is a terminating decimal. Now look at the second bit. 11 by 12. The denominator is 12. Now let us write this 12 as 2 into 6. This 6 as 2 into 3. Therefore, this is in the form of 2 square into 3, which is Not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. Why? Besides 2 and 5, 3 is also a factor of 12. Therefore, this is not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. Therefore, the given fraction is non-terminating recurring decimal. And the fourth bit now. 23 by 2 cube into 5 square. 23 by 2 cube into 5 square. Look at the denominator. 2 cube into 5 square. Which is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. So the given fraction is a terminating decimal. Next is seventh bit. 129 by 2 square into 5 power 7 into 7 power 5. 129 by 2 square into 5 power 7 into 7 power 5. Here the denominator is in the form of 2 square into 5 power 7 into 2 7 power 5. Here even though 2 and 5 are factors, the 7 is also a factor in this. But except 2 and 5, there should not be any factors. But since 7 is a factor, the given denominator is not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. So the given fraction is non-terminating recurring decimal. And tenth bit. 77 by 
you can write 210 as 2 into 105 this 105 as 3 into 35 this 35 as 5 into 7 now if you look at the factors of the denominator 210 you can write 210 as 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 besides 2 and 5 3 and 7 are also factors therefore the given denominator is not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m then the given fraction is non-terminating recurring decimal now look at question number 3 write the following rational numbers in decimal form without performing division I shall repeat write the following rationals in decimal form without performing division first bit 13 by 25 second bit 15 by 16 third bit 23 by 2 cube into 5 square fourth bit 7218 by 3 square into 5 square and fifth bit 143 by 110 here is the solution in all above fractions First of all, let us convert the given denominator to the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. Look at the first bit, 13 by 25. You can write the denominator 25 as 5 square. Therefore, this is 13 by 25 is 13 by 5 square. But the denominator should be in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. Since 5 square is the denominator, you should have 2 square also in the denominator. To get 2 square also in the denominator, let us multiply both numerator and denominator with 2 square. Then numerator is 13 into 2 square, that is 13 into 4, by 25 into 2 square is 4. 13 fours 52, by 25 fours 100. 52 by 100, you have to divide 52 with 100. Since 100 means there are two zeros, after decimal there should be two places. Therefore, this is 0 0.52. And the second bit, 15 by 16. Now, 16 can be written as 2 power 4. Since 16 is 2 power 4, let us multiply both numerator and denominator with 5 power 4. So that you will get 2 power 4 and 5 power 4 at denominator. Okay, 15 into 5 power 4 is 625. By denominator is 2 power 4 into 5 power 4 is 2 into 5 whole power 4. 15 into 16 into 5, if you multiply, you will get the product as 9375. By 2 5s, 10 power 4 is 1 after 4 zeros, that is 10,000. Now, since there are 4 zeros at denominator, there should be 4 places after decimal. Therefore, the value is 0 0.9375. Third bit, 23 by 2 cube into 5 square. 2 cube into 5 square. You look at this. Here, the denominator is 2 cube into 5 square. If you multiply this with another 5, then it will be 2 cube into 5 cube. To make the exponents of both 2 and 5 equal, let us multiply numerator and denominator with 5. Then the numerator is 23 into 5 is 115. By denominator is 2 cube into 5 cube. That is 2 into 5 whole cube. That is 115 by 2 into 5 means 10 whole cube is 1000. Since there are 3 zeros, there should be 3 places after decimal. Therefore, this is 0 0.115. Fourth bit, 7,218 by 3 square into 5 square. 7,218 divided by 3 square into 5 square. 3 square means 9 into 5 square. You write 5 square as it is. Now you can divide 7,218 with 9. 9 in 72 8 times and in 1 0 times and in 18 2 times. Therefore, if you divide 7218 with 9, you will get 802 divided by 5 square. Since 5 square is there, let us multiply both numerator and denominator with 2 square. So that this 802 into 2 square is 4 by 5 square into 2 square is 5 into 2 whole square. 
Eight naught two into four is three thousand two hundred and eight by two five ten square is hundred. Since there are two zeros, there should be two places after decimal. Therefore, keep the point here. Thirty two point zero eight. Now fifth bit. One forty five by one hundred and ten. Now you can divide both numerator and denominator with eleven. One forty three. Eleven and one forty three thirteen times by eleven and one time ten times. Thirteen by ten. Only one zero is there. Therefore, keep the point after one decimal. That is one point three. Now, question number four. Find whether the following decimals are rational numbers and express in p by q form. And what can you say about the prime factors of these denominators? I shall repeat. Find whether the following decimal numbers are rational numbers and express in p by q form. And what can you say about the prime factors of the denominator? The first bit is 43.1234567891. And it is terminating. Whereas if you look look at the second bit, zero point one two zero one two zero zero one two zero 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 one two zero 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 and so on. And the third bit, forty three point one two three four five six seven eight nine recurring. Now look at the solution. First bit is forty three point one two three four five six seven eight nine, and it is stopped there. Therefore, it is a terminating decimal. Since it is a terminating decimal, it is a rational number. Since it is a rational number, you can write it in the form of p by q. Therefore, forty three point one two three four five six seven eight nine is equal to. You remove the point. You write the total number four three one two three c four five six seven eight nine by as there are nine places after decimal you divide the given number with ten power nine or one after nine zeros. Therefore, the denominator is in the form of two power n into five power m. Therefore, it is a terminating decimal. You can observe. Now look at the second bit. Zero point one two zero one two zero zero one two zero 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 and one two four zeros and so on. It is non-terminating decimal. The decimal place is not ending with the last digit zero. Still, it is going on with three digits. Therefore, it is a non-terminating. And is it recurring? If you verify, nothing is recurring. It is not in the same part is not recurring. One two zero is not recurring. If you get one to zero again, you are getting another zero. Therefore, no part is recurring. It is non-terminating decimal. It is non-terminating decimal and non-recurring decimal. So, it is not a rational number. Since it is not a rational number, you cannot write it in the form of p by q. And whereas, if you observe the third bit, it is a recurring decimal, non-terminating recurring decimal. Third bit is non-terminating recurring decimal. Since here you can observe recurring, this is the symbol for recurring. Since it is non-terminating and recurring, it is also a rational number. You can write it in the form of p by q. Thank you, thank you, one and all.